Today I'd like to talk about my latest photography expedition. Um, it was to a place that I normally wouldn't go, which is a swamp. I mean, there's alligators, there's snakes, there's all kinds of insects and bugs. They're just generally creepy places. But in November of 2021, um, I went to the Cypress Swamps of East Texas and Louisiana. Now at that time of year, all those animals that you might be a little nervous about are pretty much hibernating or I don't know what they do, but they're not active. So I felt pretty safe and pretty confident going there. But the real reason for going is to photograph the uh, cypress trees at the peak of their autumn fall colors. So I went there the second week of November and that was about the time that the, uh, the needles or the, the leaves on these trees were at their peak of color, which is this just really rusty orange red and it's just beautiful and, and fantastic. Now cypress trees are these really large, long living trees. These things are just ancient. Some of these are, a lot of them are hundreds of years old. Some of them are even over a thousand years old. Um, they can grow to be about 35 to 120 feet tall and the diameter of their trunk is about six feet. Um, so they're pretty substantial, substantial um, trees. The really distinctive thing about them are what they call the, the knees, which is this sort of this outgrowth of the trunk at, at the base of the tree. So you, you've got the trunk coming down just in, an, in a natural, you know, pretty much uniform shape. But then when it gets near the bottom, it sort of branches out and, to, and uh, widens at the base. Um, and those are referred to as cypress knees. Now, this makes for some really interesting photography composition because in the, the swamps and in the lakes, the water is super, super still. So it's just like a big giant mirror. And what you get is this effect of like, the, the, the trees end up looking like these columns that are just, you know, supported or just balanced on a, a, a giant piece of, of a mirror or glass. And it's, it's incredibly um, beautiful and you get all kinds of reflection shots and with all the colors, it really makes for some nice photography. So the other thing that makes this photography really interesting is the Spanish moss that is on these cypress trees. Um, I didn't know what, what Spanish moss was. Uh, come to find out, it's not even, it doesn't even grow in Spain and it's not moss. It's actually a flowering plant. Um, it doesn't have roots and it grows in trees, so whatever. But it's this stuff that's hanging down off of, um, off of the trees and it just adds to the sort of moody and, and, and dramatic uh, appearance of the photos. And so this was just such a, a great location um, for landscape photography and it's really becoming pretty popular based on what I've been seeing on social media. A lot of people are going down there. So I think it's just a matter of time before this place uh, blows up and becomes really, really popular and, and maybe just a, an annual destination for people to go and, and photograph these trees at their, um, at their peak color. Now, as far as how to take the photos there, this is something completely different than, than what I've ever done before. So what you do is um, to go out for the best light, you wanna go out, and this means getting up at before dawn, and you're going out in a boat, and these boats are flat bottom boats. And what I was out there, um, they're not like the big fan boats that you see going through the swamps. This is just, I don't know what kind of boat you call it to me, it was just a regular boat, but it was a flat bottom boat, and you're sort of working your way through the um through the trees and you know when you're out there pre-dawn and it's dark it's really creepy because you can just kind of see the outlines of these trees and it's really pretty quiet for the most part they're using a trolling motor which is basically um it's a it's a low power it's a low powered motor it's very quiet so you're just making your way in the dark through these trees really creepy but man does it allow you to get in position to make some really cool photographs and the, uh, and the light when the sun comes up. So here's the tricky thing. Um, you're gonna wanna use a tripod, but you're in the middle of a lake, so how does that work? Well, you gotta get a really tall tripod, and I ordered one specifically for this, uh, for this trip. And it's six feet tall when you extend the center column and everything. So what you do is you're working your way around in the swamp trying to find an area that's shallow enough that you can put your tripod in the water. And even once you get to the bottom, you'll feel it kind of hit the bottom. When you press it down to get it stable, it sinks even farther into the mud and the muck on the, uh, on the bottom of the swamp. But fortunately, the lake is it's not, it's not too terribly deep and it's pretty easy to find a spot that's shallow enough to use your tripod. As far as the lenses that I used on this trip, 
you know, with landscape photography, I'm usually thinking just as wide as possible. I use a 16 to 35 a lot. With this, um, I used a 24 to 70 and a 70 to 200. And surprisingly, I use that 70 to 200 quite a bit. I usually don't use a, a, a lens of that length for landscape photography, photography, but in this location, it just was perfect and it worked really, really well. On this trip, I was fortunate enough to have some really good conditions because in those early morning hours with the... Um, it was, it was pretty cold. I mean, even though it was in, in Texas in the south, you think, oh, it's, it's not that cold. But we, it was in the mid-30s. And that allowed a lot of fog to form every morning that I was out on the, um, on the water. And it just made for these really, really dramatic and moody um, conditions. And again, with the, with, the, with the water so still and the reflections and the colors um, of, the, of the trees, it just really made for some unique photography. And it was something that was, you know, it, it got to be a bit repetitive after a few days, but I'm really pleased with the images that I got. And I put together a little little video here showing some of the, the behind the scenes about how we got there, what it's like riding around in the boat in the swamps, as well as a few of the images that, um, that I was able to create while out there. So take a few minutes and watch this and let me know in the comments what you think.